Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm with John Roca. How's it going, everybody? New York Comic Con. Yeah, New York Comic Con. It's, it started today. Finally yeah. starting to get some news. Uh, of course, one of my favorite subjects. We got Pacific Rim yep. Two called Pacific. Rim Uprising. Uprising. We're going to see the panel tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. stream it live here on uh, Collider's uh, YouTube channel, so you'll see all that. But in anticipation of that, they've released some new images yeah. uh, in Entertainment Weekly. There's a quote there from John Boyega, a little story details. The kaiju have found a new way, Boyega says. They are way more intelligent than we thought they were. The monsters you saw in the first movie were the test run to see how the planet would hold up. The breach we thought was closed is not their only way into our world. Their plans are more specific. Jake leads the team in building up a, the new defense against that. Wow. So, you know, as, as a big fan of, of the first one. Yes. Yeah, this is, this story point is like, of course, we kind of knew that. Yeah, right. Like, right. Uh, how else are the kaiju coming? Mm -hmm. um, John Boyega plays Idris Elba's character's son. Right, uh, right. Jake Pentecost. You weren't the biggest fan of Pacific Rim. I was not the biggest fan of Pacific Rim, no. So uh, did you care about the story? Well, you yeah, because Stephen S. Tonight is doing it, who I loved in the first season of Blade Runner. And, you know, there's a lot of Spartacus. Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. I'm sorry, Daredevil. Uh, and there's a lot of Spartacus fans for his yeah. work as well. So I was excited to see what he could do with this because I loved that Daredevil. Um, but I don't know. These, this is I like this quote because mm -hmm. obviously, like I've said all the time, with sequels you have to expand the universe, mm -hmm. right? You have to make it possible for uh, for everything to happen that you want to have happen in your story. Looks like they're going to make it happen, but like these images, I was excited about the first image with those two guys standing with John and, and uh, Scott Eastwood standing next to each other. It looked kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It's kind of updated. Uh, but then we get to this ad for Abercrombie and Fitch, whatever this ad see, is. See, I, I thought Come you'd on, look see, at that. I, see, I'd like, I thought you'd like this picture because it's straight out of the Michael Bay playbook. This is not straight out of the Michael that Bay. Is, the the other the, two absolutely oh, come are. On. Look, look at, at the, this the, thing. The, 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 their hair's like in the wind. <laughs> They're all looking like serious <laughs> and dramatic and it's posing so with I, the What is lighting. going on here? That looks straight out of Michael Bay. Film uh, right this does this not make me. But yeah, this okay. doesn't make me excited okay, for. Okay, then it. What, yeah. you, what about the, the the big fat transformer? No, no I don't. The, 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 the little uh, spiky ball. Don't you get the an Incredibles vibe from this with that like, like thing that throws like at the end throwing all that stuff around? With Syndrome was using that that uh, uh, that evil uh, mm -hmm. robot to go against mm -hmm. the family. That's what it feels like to me a little bit. And then this this last picture. If that isn't the Transformers, I don't know what's going on here. To be honest with you, look at it. It almost looks like it looks like a pseudo Megatron. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Optimus Prime, and then you've got all these the other Bumble, Bumblebee, Bumblebee on the back there. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes, what are we doing here? Yes, I, I will be say, honest, Dennis. No, no, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, <laughs> these these pictures look very Transformers slash yes. Michael Bayish. Right, right. Um, where the Guillermo del Toro one was a little more grungy, yes. a little dirty, like. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the Jaegers had been around for a while. Right. These look a little bit shiny. Tomorrow we're gonna see some footage. Yes. We're gonna see probably a, 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 the first real trailer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll maybe show some clips. Then 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 I will make my full judgment okay. of this. But yes, from these pictures, they look very transforming. <laughs> it does. Yeah. So, so I don't know why you're not happy about that. I guess that. Because, because only because Michael you, Bay can do Michael okay. Bay. Don't be copying Michael Bay unless you're Michael Bay. I mean, for God's sake. But the, you know what was interesting? The Stephen S. DeKnight thing, I, I thought he would keep it in the grungy, darker, mm -hmm. darker world like he did with the first season of Daredevil. So I'm a little surprised that these are more kind of like Michael Bay-ish Transformers. Mm -hmm. like, this feels like you could see these right in the last night. Honestly, these could come out of the last night right now that, that was, of course, earlier this year. This mm -hmm. looks like something from that. So I'm surprised mm -hmm. by the look of these. There's some of the more story details talking about how uh, John Boyega's character, Jake, had a falling out with his, his yeah. father. Yeah. And end up being working kind of in the black market, uh, under criminal underworld. Right. And Mako is is still around, and she's kind of the one reason why he had that falling out because she, right. she drew all the attention from his father, uh -huh. and he got none of it. And right. But somehow he is trying to redeem himself in uh, some way. Him and Scott Eastwood are yeah. partnering up, and I guess the the new uh, Jaeger they're in is called. Uh, Gypsy uh, Avenger <laughs> instead of Gypsy uh, Danger in the I first one. I love it. I love it. Has a similar look, but just you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. This is going to be great. I, I mean, honestly, I'm I, I'm looking forward to the footage, okay. even if the images don't ex necessarily excite me. I'm looking forward to see the, how they work in the in the footage because if yeah. the footage is great, then I'm on board. Like I want it to be good, even mm -hmm. though I didn't like the first one. The reason I liked the first one was because I wanted it to be better than it was. It so. was awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, this, but you and me this, will probably be reviewing. <laughs> 
this oh, one no. when, when it comes out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I, I think people are, are going to be waiting for that one. <laughs> right after we do our commentary on Transformers the last yeah. night. We do that together, too. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's what we thought of these new images of Pacific Rim Uprising. Stay tuned to Collider's YouTube channel, Collider.com. We have all kinds of new breaking news. And we'll, we have the live streaming panel for Pacific Rim Uprising. You can check that out. And we'll see you guys next time.